guys, Jay Waller here and this is Pura Vida. Yes, it's a time again as I check out a brand new cigar and you guys are in for a ride today because I am going to be testing out this cigar. It's brand new, just released last year. It's got the whole cigar world a buzz. This is the Jet Black Beauty that is the Alec Bradley Magic Toast. Coming in at a length of 5 inches by a 52 ring gauge, almost jet black, featuring tobacco with a wrapper from the Honduras, fill and binder from Nicaragua and Honduras, both. Very, very shiny, very oily. The foot is well, well enough packed. Construction seems good. Now the, the wrapper actually has these little bumps on it, it's a rather modelled actually. Um, looks good, lots of oils, uh, a few veins here and there but you know, few visible seams as well. But overall, I like this colour though and it really pops against the band, beautiful. Now I don't usually do the whole cold draw, aroma and cold thing all together but you gotta take a whiff of this cigar. It's got a very very like you know almost like date jam or something like that you know. It's got a very musty aged tobacco scent to it, uh, very very sort of like damp barnyard sort of scent. But then on the finish of the bouquet of the cigar itself you get a sort of like dates or figs, dried figs, sort of fig jam or something like that. There's a residual sweetness on the scent. After the Prensado that has set on Cigar Aficionado or I think even Cigar Journal magazine top 25 countless times actually. Uh, Alec Bradley's really made a name for itself and Alan Rubin, the founder of Alec Bradley, was actually in one tobacco field of his in Honduras just hanging out with his business partner and it was over there that they actually decided to have a toast for the continued longevity of Alec Bradley's cigars and it was from that feel that some of the tobaccos in this cigar, the Magic Toast, is featured from. Now, now the cool thing about this cigar is it was introduced in IPCPR 2018 and Usually cigar manufacturers will put out a cigar that they are eager for the public to try. They will state on social media and the likes of that so and so I'm going to be releasing this and it is going to be available at this trade exhibition. That's not what the guys from Alec Bradley did at all. All they did was tease that a brand new cigar was going to land in its shores or at least land at the trade exhibition but they did not tell you anything about the cigar at all and that piqued people's interest a lot more. So when the trade show came in 2018, people were so excited for this particular cigar and it was then that it was unveiled that the latest uh, in sort of the regular production line of Alec Bradley cigars would be the Magic Toast. It comes in three different sizes and what I'm going to be trying out today is the Robusto. The darkened wrapper you know it looks like a maduro almost even an oscuro actually but here's a little tip for you guys out there a lot of y'all would see a wrapper of a cigar and then decide that it's gonna be really really strong but never ever do that because if you take a look at a cuban bolivar it's got almost the same colored wrapper as your romeo Julieta from cuba itself but a bolivar will knock you on your well for lack of better your butt right but the Romeo Julieta is very mild, so do not let the color of the wrapper be an indication of the strength. If you want to know or decide the strength of a cigar, read up a little more about it, or you can watch Pura Vida, of course, and find out which country the cigar comes from, because different parts of the world produce different sort of tobacco with different varying levels of strength. And that's one true indication to find out. So here's a little guide for you guys. Nicaragua produces very bold, robust flavors. Dominican Republic produces very mild, light, floral flavors. Indonesia, similar to the Dominican Republic as well, very mild and very light. Everything else in between just sits in the pocket here of the spectrum. But if you want to go to the full spectrum, to me, it's Nicaraguan cigar. 
Magic Toast. Wow. It is truly magical in flavor profile, I must say. Just in the first third itself, the amount of flavors that this cigar packs is out of this world. That sort of root beer-like, sort of sasaparilla kind of flavor profile on the palate, I'm not pairing the cigar with anything and I'm getting such a lush like root beer type flavor profile, uh, dates, figs, it's a very very jammy cigar, it's syrupy, it's so sweet. Um, and you get almost like that bourbon glaze that you find on ribs and stuff like that, you know, it is so unctuous, so lush, the smoke is creamy, it's thick, um, even on the flavour profile you get that sort of creaminess, you know, uh, like heavy cream, but it's lost in translation most of the time because you get that sort of burnt caramel type of flavor profile that syrup you know I can't just I mean I can't get enough of that syrupy flavor profile actually that root beer note really really stands out that herbaceousness almost like coriander seed is brilliant um, no harshness at all the smoke is so smooth there is no strength building up yet I mean I'm running out of superlatives to describe just the first third of it's truly a testament of how good this cigar is because the second third is over and I'm just smoking through it without realizing that I'm actually shooting a review. So I was mentioning the flavors of root beer and sasaparilla, you know, in the first third itself. So I actually went and grabbed me a can of my favorite sasaparilla drink and it is truly a pairing, a match made in heaven I must say. Uh, so the flavor profile is not the most transitional, but I'm not complaining because it's so enjoyable. Uh, a little more creaminess on the palate actually, almost akin to like buttermilk. Uh, a slight salinity on the palate as well, almost like lightly salted butter. Um, the sweetness, that syrupy flavor profile is still present. But I just think that the buttermilk note almost tempers the sweetness. So right now, it is a very, very balanced smoke. Um, no spice whatsoever. When I say spice, you know, none of that white pepper or black pepper at all. But you get that very nice sort of uh, coriander seed from the first third itself that's carried through. A little herbaceousness uh, on the palate. Um, nothing too distinct, you know, a little bit of that uh, dry oregano, that sort of flavor profile. The sweetness, you've got to love the Maduro sweetness on this cigar. I mean, it is brilliant and I would think that this cigar would pair really, really well with a no sugar added rum. A beautiful Jamaican rum, something of that sort, something along those lines, you know. So it's obviously such a good cigar that I've broken the toothpick out for this. Um, you know, from start to finish, the final third has yielded a lot more herbaceousness on the flavor profile, but you get a rather interesting black tea, roasted black tea note on the palate. You know, this is a cigar, it's a gift that keeps on giving, I must say. You know, um, you're getting the sort of nice roasted black tea uh, on the palate. It's actually quite pronounced but a rather herbaceous sort of note on the finish as well. And you're getting a slight sort of bitterness, not from tea, but rather like, you know, from one of those edible flowers that you usually get in those fancy restaurants. If you took a bite from those flowers, you get sort of that floral note, but then you get a slight bitter finish on it, and I'm getting that on the cigar as well. And speaking of floral notes, uh, on the retro hail, it's actually very floral and really, really grassy. The sweetness is still there from start to end and I, I'm starting to believe that that is the major characteristic of this cigar itself. The sweetness on the palate, it's meant to be that way and this definitely qualifies as a dessert stick. This is the type of cigar that I really really enjoy. I mean usually my reviews are very unbiased but you know, I can't hold it back. I'm really really digging the magic toast for all of you all out there who enjoy the Maduro flavor bombs, sweet, dessert-like, creamy flavors, this is the one for you. I'll see you guys at the next Pura Vida reviews. Till then, take care, bye-bye, and stay smoking. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this.